Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147, and I'm back with a section of my heaven and earth design. Um, I actually wasn't sure if I was going to get around to doing this video this week, but I have, I'm waiting on something. <laughs> Um, I'm waiting on um, just a couple of bits um, to be able to do some last bits for launch. It should be here tomorrow, but um, or even later today. Um, but yeah, we um, yeah we just we're basically just due to numbers that we're seeing on the wait list. Um, we've ordered more of something than we thought we would need um but yeah it is i'm pretty much ready for launch as ready as i can be i think why have i marked that one off i've not even done it let me just pop that one in there um yeah we're as ready for launch as we can be um, I know it's going to be a very, very busy week next week, packing orders. Um, I'm going for slow and steady wins the race with orders, I think. <laughs> um, because I know otherwise I'm just going to end up working all hours under the sun. Um, determined to get them out so I'm going for slow and steady a bit like sending out advent has been uh, slow and steady um, but I'm happy to say for the pre-orders the last ones of the pre-orders um, are going today unless uh, there are a couple of people that are moving so they've actually asked us to keep hold of them until a certain date, either moving or going away on holiday and just want it delayed a little bit. Those are held um, and those people know who they are, but everything else is leaving, the last is leaving the building this afternoon. Uh, they are all in mail sacks, packed and ready to go. Uh, we have an abundance of diamond paintings uh, which have been primarily prepped um, we we do certain prep on the diamond paintings and then we do like to wrap the diamond paintings um, that are being bought like now to do for the advent event uh, with a little sticker telling you when I'm kitting up um, so that last sort of wrapping phase happens as orders are being packed, which is why I'm going for slow and steady. I'm going to pack them as I pack orders, um, sort of, you know, get them ready at a pace that the postie will be happy. And hopefully I don't run out of steam. Uh, but we've got a load of cover paper prepped. That's actually the item that I'm waiting on some more to arrive uh, so we have we have it prepped we just we just want more <laughs> we just want more ready um, so yeah I'll be prepping some more of that when it arrives so I did wonder about whether I could fit this whip and waffle in we're also having a heat wave in September in the UK so it is it's actually rather muggy today it wasn't supposed to rain it's decided to rain this morning uh, and bring with it that mugginess um, but it it feels a little bit cooler but stuffier so I'm going to see how I go uh, I'm going to use today or this afternoon so I'm filming this one very close uh, but we're going to use this afternoon to uh, try and get as many YouTube videos done as possible so that next week won't take as much of a hit um, in relation to YouTube videos we'll see how the orders go as to whether I get to do my heaven and earth design next week 
um, that's often the trickier one to sort of fit in. But then we should be back on track once September's initial wave of orders are out. Um, I'm hoping to concentrate a bit more on put my concentration back on my heaven and earth designs and get it finished because uh, my mum called the other day she has finished hers so she has completely finished we had discussions in relation to um, how she could frame it potentially get it up on the wall um, so yeah Hers is finished. Mine is close, but no cigar. Not close enough at all. Um, so there you go. If you need any proof that slow and steady does win the race, <laughs> even though it's not technically a race, uh, then my mum has shown that she does. She's done it with paper. So the charts on paper and she's coloured it in as she's gone along. She has done one square at a time um, rather than a section of six. One square at a time and it's been completed. Well, she did start it last year, uh, but she has now completed it in what is probably under a year. Um, just doing at least one section. There are many days she's done more than one section a day. It has been, I think it's been the only diamond painting that she's worked on, though maybe she would have sneaked in another. Um, but she too fell in love with Dreamer Designs White Christmas and did manage to snag one. So she must have been pretty quick on looking that one up and making that decision so she'll be working on that one next I've not yet kitted mine up I'm hoping if it doesn't get too muggy today and it's the mugginess that will get me um I say to work through my videos but I'm going to try and be good and do the videos that I've got you know penciled in detailed down for next week in order, uh, which means I need to de-kit my other Dreamers designs, which I have to do anyway because I want to use the same case. Um, so I need to de-kit my round Dreamers designs, which should be a bit quicker because it's round. Um, I also need to do, what else do I have on? on my list to do before I can kit up a white Christmas. Uh, I need to do the, so yeah, I need to de-kit my Dreamers designs. I need to do the Sunday Whip and Waffle. Um, I'm gonna, um, I'm half and half whether to do that one or whether to just try and do all of the other videos and then squeeze in the whip and waffle at the weekend for a little bit of a break from packing orders um, and give you sort of a catch up on how things are going with the launch um, sort of you know percentage volumes of orders and things like that so I'm a little bit undecided on whether to do the whip and waffle first I also want to unbox outside the sweet shop from Diamond Art Studio um, because I want you guys to help me decide which one of them to kit up later on this month between outside the sweet shop and walking in the rain and then I can kit up White Christmas. Uh, my, if you watch my other whip and waffle I was discussing it the other day. The new JD Rob book has come out. Uh, I have been limiting when I listen to it. I'm trying to be very good. So I haven't put it on as I'm falling asleep like I normally do. Uh, I've actually been listening to some podcasts. Don't know whether they're actually helping me sleep or not, but I've been listening to some podcasts instead. Uh, I have listened to a few chapters of the book 
while doing some shop items um, that don't require, you know, words. <laughs> I can't do words and words, so I can't listen to it while trying to reply to emails, for example. Uh, but there has been a couple of preparation tasks, like cutting cover paper, for example, um, that... I've been able to listen to the book while doing it. Um, I think I'm only on about chapter five or six, um, but I do have a very strong desire to listen to my audio book while doing a section on White Christmas. I am itching to do it. <laughs> Maybe what I could do, because you guys all know that White Christmas is coming. Uh, you all know it's in the pipeline. You all know that I want to kit it up. Maybe that could be the reason, reason slash excuse that I use today, if I carry on filming, um, to kit up White Christmas before my whip and waffle. Because then maybe I can just do some on my whip and waffle. We can start White Christmas together. So maybe I'll use that as my excuse and I'll do that. Oh, I do want another one of these black ones. I did notice that I'd lost a diamond here. It's probably on my shelf. Um, but none of these ones at the side were either 310 or 939. So let's pop a 310 in there while I remember. And even though I can see the number there and the symbol, I couldn't find it for love the money. Right. I have it. So comments, etc. Uh, so these, of course, are comments from a couple of weeks ago because I didn't get a heaven and earth design up last week, which is another reason I really wanted to get one up this week. Um, so Cat Lady, she says she still hasn't kitted up a diamond painting uh, to work on. She says she's not going to get one out until the decorating is done. Uh, she says hopefully all paint cans will be removed by the close of play on Monday. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, she said any free time she has, she's picking up crochet or reading. Uh, she's thinking of doing another large one when she does kit up. Yes, I've done a couple of paint gem minis this week and that's it. Um, it's been sort of later nights for me, sort of finishing um, more like six, seven o'clock. So by the time we've had tea, tidied up from tea, you know, sat for a minute, realised it's evening. I just felt it was too late to be pulling out one of my bigger ones. So I have done a, a paint gem mini or two, um, but that's it. We've also been looking at garden rooms um, to potentially move Add More Zest into one of those, uh, which would sort of work for me. You know, we'd have more space, um, but it wouldn't involve renting a warehouse and going out to work which I'm trying to avoid as much as possible um but yeah decorating I say I did some bank holiday weekend which is sort of what kicked off the whole missing it missing the whip and chat last week um, because I took that time to do some decorating around the house and while I am glad I did it because it has been on my list for quite a bit um, there's still a few things that could do with painting because I have repainted the woodwork so there are a few doors I could do with repainting but um, I'm not quite happy to do them yet I think I'm just going to give them a bit before I dive in. I need a break from paint. Uh, Grey Legrand, she says, woohoo, she says the end is near. It is. It is near. 
um, and I know as soon as I can get a little bit more focused on it, um, I am sure that I will blast through some of it um, a little bit quicker once once the initial wave of launch has happened um, and I've, I've recovered the stock so done anything I need to to get the stock back on a nice even keel um, anything you know that we prepare and things make sure I've got a, a nice stock level of them and put that work in then I am going to switch my focus a bit to my heaven and earth design. Um, Julie, she says, give idea new advent box, please. Um, I never ordered that before when others did last one last year. Um, we have done an advent calendar box this year. Um, there will be more stock available um, tomorrow. Friday um, at 9pm BST uh, there will be the remainder of the stock all the pre-order stock did sell I'm going to say that's what's all been dispatched but there will be um, the general stock release that will be coming tomorrow 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 it's going to be fun um, XSS XSS7 Leah. Uh, she said she can't wait for it to be finished. Thank you. Um, and Jaina also says she can't wait to see the finish. I know the finish, it's it's gonna feel like it's dragging, I think. Um, but that's just because I've not been able to work on it outside of these videos. Hence, this was the one we did two weeks ago. Um, but hopefully that will speed up soon. So you will be able to see some more progress. Lady Dax says, so close to the bottom now, which, yes, I am so close. Um, and I'm itching to do more. I just don't have the time at the moment. It is purely time that's stopping me. Oh, we do have, I figured we might have some of this yellowy type stuff somewhere. Let me get my second case. We did quite a jump on the remaining numbers then. But we get to pop one in there. Do we have any more of the other? No. Okay, maybe we're going to do a bit more of a jump. Um, handcrafted by Helen she says she too has been doing some cross stitch so sorry not cross stitch crochet uh, she's been doing some crochet which means she has not been doing as much diamond painting uh, as she's just found out she's going to be a grandma for the first time oh what a perfect reason to crack those needles out um, and get some pretty pretty baby things done um, absolutely awesome news uh, and a perfect reason you've got to go with the flow with your hobbies uh, and if you have more than one if something pulls you in one direction like a new baby then you've got to go with it uh, she is crocheting a baby blanket to start off with beautiful and I am sure it will be loved and used loads um, if you've not long found out that potentially oh that baby's going to need a few blankets it's going to be cold um, Carrie says she has just started using blue dots uh, she said and she loves it she said it is taking some getting used to um, it's so sticky she says any tips uh, she says by the way this painting is amazing um, yes glue dots can it seems like it can take a while to sort of prime them as which is what I tend to call it um, to make them lose that that little bit of harsh stickiness 
or too sticky. Um, however, it's not like a full on process that you need to step away from your diamond painting and go and prime your glue dot and then sit back down and carry on and then find out you need to prime it some more. Um, it's very, very easy. To be honest, um, I have um, sort of a combination skin, uh, skin type, which is sort of between, it's a bit oily, but it can be dry in places. I found the sort of natural oils on my skin to be the quickest to prime it, but it does, of course, depend on your skin type. If you have quite dry skin, it's probably not going to do it. Um, so I tend to, when I find that I'm popping a diamond down and it's coming back up rather than the glue being stickier, uh, then I'll often just do that on my face just like a couple of times and then carry on. Uh, and I'll have to do that more often in the beginning than I do once my glue dot's fully primed like this one is. Um, you can also, if you don't like the idea of that, the feel of that, the sound of that, uh, you can also rub it on your cover paper, can be one. Um, you can also dab it on clothes. I wouldn't go for like, you know, your big fluffy jumper, um, but a pair of jeans that will release a few fibres, but, you know, you won't end up with sticky out bits all over, all over your pen. Um, I used to do that at the beginning. I used to just dab it on my jeans um, and that would make it lose that edge of stickiness. But of course, as you're using it, your glue dot might move around a little bit or adjust just a little bit um, <clears throat> or some of the fibres or whatever it is that you've put on it may come off and it will seem as though it's gone sticky again. Just repeat the process. Um, it, it's very quick to do while you're diamond painting um, and then all of a sudden you'll you'll have done an hour, two hours of diamond painting, maybe a couple of sessions of diamond painting and you'll realise that you haven't primed your glue dot in ages uh, and then it's, it's probably hit that sweet spot and it keeps that sweet spot for quite a while, I find, um, before you know, it will start, in effect, losing stickiness rather than being too sticky. Uh, and you can tell that because you can't pick your diamonds up out of your tray. For that then, I tend to just use a pair of metal tweezers, which of course you shouldn't in metal tips, but I do. Uh, take the glue dot out, give it a little roll in my fingers and pop it back in. Uh, and then I find that I may have to prime it again just a little bit. Um, but it normally then becomes its sweet spot a lot quicker. So hopefully that helps. Um, there are a few replies. Uh, so some people say they just rub their finger over the top. Um, and for ABs, they do use wax because then it doesn't take the sparkle off the ABs. If you use glue dots or a glue dot that is not at its sweet spot, um, and is still needing the odd priming time, it can take the coat in off the top of your ABs. If you've got a, a pen that has hit its sweet spot um, and you haven't had to prime it for, you know, a good few hours, then you can actually use um, it to place your ABs. I have done, but only when I've got a pen that I know I've not had to prime for a, a you know a good few hours quite a long time um because then i know it, it's you know the only way it's going to go after that is losing it sticky not becoming sticky because it's adjusted in the pen um, and then i feel quite safe using it with my ab's but to be honest when i've got a if it's one or two ab's i'll use the pen if it's a big section of ABs, I tend to get out my wax pen anyway, because it's pretty. There is nothing like having pretty tools and being able to use pretty tools to do your diamond painting. So I like my pretty pickup pen. 
as much as I like my pens, this is my current favourite. Current favourite with the tray that launches on Friday, the big one in the beige. I love this. Love this tray. Um, so Blossom Chops also says she dabs it on her face. <laughs> um, and Carrie has got those answers. So that's wonderful. She's been able to get those um, before I've been able to get round to answering it but hopefully that helps both of those tips say natural oils from your face or from your finger um, I find do prime it a little bit quicker uh, but if you don't like the idea of that then dab it on your cover paper it picks up you know any little dust particles that it that may have been in the air that have got near it um, or you know possibly a little bit of the sort of silicon coating and or your clothes just don't go for something really furry because you don't want to have um, had a really say fluffy jumper and then have a load of fibers that you just see sticking out here there and everywhere as you go to place them down on your diamond painting um, but yeah, once you hit that sweet spot, you get to go for ages, ages and ages. Right, still need a few of these. Uh, Deborah, she says she has a lily painting that actually has 3865 and she believes uh, 5200. She says, but she will have to double check uh, when she's working on it again. Um, she says, but she knows she's going to have to get more 3865 um, from the manufacturer because she is short of them. Um, Kim says, is she the only one that noticed the mistake with 939 and 310 that I made on this top row last time? Uh, she's had four likes, so I'm guessing other people have noticed. And yes, I did notice. <laughs> I did notice as I was doing it uh, with the 310 and the 939, especially when it's sort of in in this area where it's a little bit mottled between the two anyway, I decided it wasn't really going to make any difference. So I was just going to ignore the fact. Uh, but yes, I did notice. I did notice I'd done it. And obviously, Eagle Eyes has noticed too. Uh, we've actually been dropping a mini hint about something, which I'm not even going to tell you what it is until December. Sort of a mini hint about something for... Since we posted the second sneak peek picture of the canvas that's, that we're releasing tomorrow um we've been dropping hints they're, they're getting a little bit more blatantly obvious of some hints we're dropping and if anybody's noticed yet they have not spoken up um so yeah that's something for you to ponder over until december when i tell you all um Colleen says she can't wait for this to be done. She says she has been watching it from the beginning. <laughs> well, well done to you for sticking with me for that long because this has been a long project. It's been fun, but it has been long. Um, I suppose it's just, it's a nod to the fact that life happens, energy for something, you know, energy for, for a new project can come and go in little waves and let's say life can take over and things, but you can get there. You can get there. I will get there. I will show you. I will get there <laughs> in the end. In the end, I'll get there. Um, Anastasia, she said she ended up getting Artist Room 2, uh, but Hubby has snagged it for his stash. <laughs> it is, it's a nice, 
Um, I like the fact that it's a nice pastel one. Uh, they've actually released a second one, I think, by the same artist and it's got the same sort of look. Uh, but Artist Room definitely spoke to me a bit more. Um, I'm not like there. Are, there are many artists that I do really, really like their work of, and like like a lot of their work. Um, but it's still very much down to the individual image for me. Um, so sometimes I can have an artist that I only like one or two of their images, but then there can be an artist that I actually like, you know, the majority of their images. Um, and while I I like the new release one. It's it's not singing to me as much. Maybe it's because it is pastel colour and I do actually really enjoy diamond painting. Either something that I can see putting up in my home, um, like White Christmas, um, or something that's bright and colourful. They're the ones I enjoy diamond painting more so than any others. Um, so yeah, the fact that I'm already doing one pastel one um, is is not making me feel as though I need to do another. If that makes sense. Let me grab my next my next box. Um, but yeah, I do like Artist Room. I know a few people did tag me, and I am sorry that I've not sort of responded in person. I sort of catch sight of. A lot of Facebook comments or things I'm tagged in, um, I sort of catch them, you know, when I'm like waiting um, for, for my brew to be ready or, you know, I'm quickly checking something, um, quickly, yeah, I'm, I'm basically quickly, quickly checking Facebook quite often on the fly, um, especially at the moment because we're so busy. Um, so I sort of react to things, but then even if I've got a thought, I don't always have the time to comment. Um, but I have seen that I was tagged in um, another painting very, very similar to Cosmic Trip. I think it was by the same artist. Um, and while I liked it, I didn't love it as much as Cosmic Trip. And there's another one of her paintings that I've seen. I think it may have been in one of these things you can vote for, the things you like with Diamond Art Club. The images you like, they do sort of a little vote thing. I think I went on one of them once to have a nosy. Um, and yeah, there was another one of them that I really liked. But this one I wasn't so keen on and I don't know why. Um, I think it was the amount of the likes of 939 and Black, which I know Cosmic Trip has it sort of in the sky, um, but this one seemed to have it all around and it just didn't appeal to me as much. Just not enough to say I'm going to go buy it. Um, it was a nice image though, so whether it ends up, if it's something that's in stock when something grabs my eye at a later date it may be something that adds to my stash um, but while I'm tr also trying to be more conscious with my stash I'm not necessarily you know saying I'm on a no buy or anything but I am trying to be very conscious about what comes in an artist room um, I put myself on the wait list. When the email did come in, um, I liked it enough to decide to buy it. And I did stick to just the one, which is very rare with Diamond Art Club. I normally go for free shipping and stuff. But it wasn't one of their very expensive paintings in the first place. So I'd have been spending quite a bit more to get another one. Um, and I'm being conscious with my stash. So I stuck with what I know, um, what I knew I wanted and didn't go browsing to see if there was anything else. Um, so I'm trying to be very selective in that way. Um, but who knows, it may end up in my stash in the future. We shall see when I get through 
some of the ones that are that I have lots of at the moment uh, once I get to do some more diamond painting um, Kim she says she's still married she says shopping for bathroom tiles didn't do my marriage in Woohoo! Have you reached a decision though? That is the question. Uh, she said she thinks she saved it at the last minute uh, by giving in and letting him have his choice of grout colour. <laughs> awesome. She says, alas, there are more bathroom fixtures to shop for. She said, fingers crossed that things go smoothly. I'll cross these ones because these ones are busy. Um, she says shopping is not her favourite thing to do, she says, and she is amazed at how many things need to be considered uh, in preparing for a real mod uh, a remodel. She said if she hadn't experienced her husband's Christmas decorating skills for all these years, oh, um, she says he's not a, not a classy decorator. She said she'd let she'd let him shop for these fixtures on his own. <laughs> Love it. Um, she says, alas, she doesn't dare let him go alone. So shopping, she will go. Uh, she says she just has to diamond paint to calm herself down afterwards. Love it. Absolutely love it. Maybe I've got it fairly easy. Um, you know, Hobby does have an opinion and he does have some good opinions. Um, but he is also, you know, if if he's in between, he's more than happy to go for what I like, which is which is always good. Right, I'm just checking if we've got any more before we get to the 3371. We're on the tree. Um, Susan, she says uh, her partner puts her on a no buy until she is on her last painting. Uh, little does he know I'm still buying. I just hide them from him. I couldn't imagine being on a no buy until you've got no paintings left. Like, if you can't afford it, if it's not in your budget, then I get that. That's that sort of a no-buy, but it, it's a no-buy because there's no money. More than, you know, you're just saying, I'm not allowed it. Um, but there are so many gorgeous diamond paintings out there. If you do want to keep your stash low, I think you just need to be sure about everything you're buying. Uh, say I have many many diamond paintings in my stash that I love um, however I only have a few um, that if my decision wheel chose them or if I was choosing myself I would go straight to so there are a few in my stash that if my decision wheel picked them I would be happier than if it picked another um, and I think if you consciously kept it to just the ones that really really excite you rather than the ones that are pretty and um, then you can keep your stash at a I suppose what you consider a more reasonable level um, by doing it that way and I could whittle down my stash quite a bit by just pulling out the ones that just you know would make my heart sing if I do them um, I just, I just don't quite know if I'm ready to do that yet. I'm letting a few go. I'm letting a few go. Um, she says, she then says that she's had it for a while when she starts working on them. Um, or their 13 month old finds the box and brings it out to play with. Uh, he's tried taking my go phone off, or my card off me, she says, but I have Google Play, Google Pay on my phone. There's always, if the determination is there, there's always a way around. Maybe you just need to tell him the fact that he's putting you on a no-buy is making you want other paintings more. 
uh, and that you are happy to consciously buy paintings that you absolutely adore and will make your heart sing when you do them. Um, but you need to not be moaned at for doing it. It might work. It might work. Um, Kim says... Uh, she says she's been watching me work on this since the beginning, the ages ago. Uh, she is living vicariously through me. She says she's so excited to see the end result. Yes, it's going to be so nice to be able to just lay this out the length of the conservatory and, yeah, just see it in all its glory all its absolute glory I'm trying to get it so that it'll actually let me mark them off um kerry says how do you get a heaven and earth design in a diamond painting um so heaven and earth design that there's a couple of ways that you can do a heaven and earth design so heaven and earth design themselves do sell um crown jewel canvases they're not the cheapest they are nice but they're definitely not the cheapest um where the chart is printed onto a canvas and you just need to buy the diamonds or use your spares depending on the image um to you know and do it like a normal diamond painting Alternatively, you do the likes of what I've done, which is to buy a chart. So this is the PDF download of the chart for cross stitch, uh, and then transfer that in effect onto a blank canvas um, by dotting and counting and doing it slow and steady and one bit at a time. Uh, I do have a playlist on Heaven and Earth Design. I also have a section on my website. So if you go to Admiral Zest, oh, just throw them about. Uh, if you go to admiralzest.com, I have a section called videos and under there is a Heaven and Earth Design section and that sort of has the key videos on getting started with the project um, and then you can just play the whip and waffles while you're actually doing it for company uh, and there'll be more tidbits in my whip and waffles from questions and discussions and things I've learned along the way so you can definitely pick up pointers but to get started um, you best with sort of the videos I've made specifically for that uh, and you can find them on my website. Uh, there's all sorts of other videos on the website as well. They're all on YouTube. Um, it's just finding them on YouTube. Even for me, like, I think it's something that I did a video on a year ago and it's actually two or three years ago. Or I think I would have put this keyword in the title and I go searching and I, and I haven't. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, I've, I've basically spent quite a bit of time going through my YouTube videos and moving over or copying the link and putting a nice pretty thumbnail picture on the website for a lot of my key videos, uh, key teaching videos, key comparing videos, so comparing customs, custom pictures, comparing different sizes, all sorts of different things I have sort of compiled there so that you can find more educational videos. Um, and then the whip and chats, the de-kittings, the kitting ups, all the rest of it. Um, that's a mixture of, I'm there for company while you're diamond painting. Uh, but you will find there's little tidbits in there as well as we're discussing things like the glue dots that we've just had a discussion over. Um, so yeah, if you enjoy diamond painting and you want something on or some company in the background, then you'll probably pick up a cheeky little tidbit or two in some of those videos as well. 
Uh, Sandra said, where do you get the big clips that you use? Oh, so the big clips to hold diamond paintings down. Um, the original place that I got them from, um, I had them in an unboxing a few years ago, doesn't actually have them on their site anymore. Uh, however, they if you search for towel clips, that's basically what they are. Um, they're big towel clips. They're actually really handy. It's amazing how many other things I've used them for. Uh, speaking of prep work, cover paper, for example, uh, the single sided so that you can print on it. Um, we're currently waiting for some samples from another supplier, uh, but our supplier at the moment provides it on a roll on a big roll you think this is big that roll is ginormous um, and I actually use the towel clips to hold it to the table so I can cut it uh, cut it to a manageable piece so I can use it in my guillotine <laughs> So yeah, we're currently waiting for some samples from a potential supplier um, that can provide it to us in sheets. Um, they're still going to be mahoosive sheets, like I think they're bigger than A1, um, but they'll be flat rather than curling up. So we're kind of hoping it'll be a bit more manageable. We shall see. After dealing with the roll the first time, we were like, okay, does, does anybody else stock this in a more manageable way? Can we find another wholesaler that can give us it flat? Uh, we were ideally looking for somebody who could give it is in the size we want it um, for going in the printer, but alas, that costs far more um, and would put the prices to be what we consider unreasonable. So we'll do it ourselves using my big clips. Um, Diamond Calicaloo uh, says, hi there, thank you for this nice video. Uh, the Heaven and Earth Design series is one of their favorite ones. Uh, they listen while working, they're listening to me while working on their new canvas, Autumn Foxes. Um, and when I started chatting, Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I get my next colour. Um, about 3865 and 5200, they did notice that they had both in their kit. Uh, and even though they are very similar, they're not the same. Yeah, the colours themselves shouldn't be the same. One should be a stark white and one should be an off-white. Um, so maybe there are more kits out there than I thought that had both. Uh, but I did think some companies sort of, you know, put a couple together um said there are some colors they feel which dmc color number stays in the mind way more so 666 for red or 310 for black definitely uh, she says then other colors she says uh, she loves working on the beautiful orange colors of her kit uh, of their kit sorry they are so gorgeous orange palettes in the dmc color code especially 743. Have a great week. Um, yes, you will find that numbers do start to stick in your head and it could just be a certain painting with lots of it, uh, but often you'll find it's sort of, yeah, just different numbers catching your head. So 819 to me is pale pink, straight up. 939, navy blue. 823, your next dark blue. Of course, 310, which is often the first one you learn because it's black. And who likes to do a bucket ton of black? Um, but then you'll find a few others will start to stick in your head. So 995 and 996 are a turquoisey blue. Uh, quite a bright, vivid blue. They sort of stick in my head. I think that one is because I have had a lot of them. And actually, it was 99. It was one of them, either 995 or 996. 995, I think, was actually the first colour I ran out of on a painting. And I actually didn't have any at the time. I hadn't been diamond painting long. Um, and somebody 
from the Got Diamonds UK group sent me some. Um, so whether that's why it's stuck in my head or not, I'm not sure. But yeah, DMC codes definitely can start to stick in your head as you go along. Uh, especially if you're somebody that's doing the likes of a heaven and earth design where you see it a lot. You know, so while I'm looking at the symbol, I'm also having to look at the number just because of the volume of colours in this kit. Um, so I recognise a lot that are in this one. Whereas on an actual painting, once I've kitted up, I don't really look at the DMC number. So I suppose it, if you are somebody that has your pot, say, numbered one to whatever, and look up your symbol or something, maybe you'll see the DMC number a little bit more. Who knows? We're all built different, aren't we? Different experiences will have different impacts. But anyway, I have managed it. I've got another section done. Uh, this room is very stuffy. <laughs> so I am going to go and get this one prepped and up and we shall see stay tuned on Sunday if my filming has managed to be done this afternoon how I'm hoping to do and I don't get too hot then I'll work on white Christmas this Sunday if it does if it does become too extreme hot and I've done my de kit and I've done my unboxing and it's just too warm to do any more then I will be working on something else for my whip and chat because I won't have kitted White Christmas up yet. Time will tell. Time will tell. Place your votes below. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.